What's going on? This is Market Williams. Welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. This is a channel where you can learn a new skill set or brush up on an old one. Continuous education and improvement should always be a priority if you want to stay current in your field of work and plus get paid your worth. Enjoy the tutorial. All the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you would like to get certified in and I could personally send you a link to check out. So let's get started. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle System International predicts that by the year 2025, at least 100,000 jobs will be created by drone pilots. Multiple companies are spending billions of dollars over the next eight years and these such companies are advertising agencies, construction, and security firms. The people who make enough money from flying drones to call it a career are usually people with a specific skill set, like filming and video, editing, or 3D mapping. So consider adding different skills on top of the drone flying and apply to the jobs that require those skills. Specialization is the key to land jobs as a drone pilot and stand out. According to Glassdoor, the medium drone pilot salary is $58,280 a year. There are, however, drone pilots making six figures flying drones commercially. Those usually offer other services on top of drone flying. So okay. Let's get into the seven industries where drone operating skills are currently in high demand. Drones are now helping realtors close more deals while saving time. Aerial shots, videos, and even 3D maps help these realtors skip much of the client's closing nightmares by offering potential buyers a comprehensive view on the property they want to buy. Potential buyers can then either decide to buy or not. Saving realtors a lot of time, which for most realtors is literally money. On average, there are 190 open jobs for real estate drone pilots on Indeed, and the hourly pay is usually between 50 to 100 bucks an hour. However, keep in mind that most of these jobs are temporary and usually project-based. You should also note that many realtors will require videos and photo editing skills as well as a portfolio for your previous work. So here's an FYI, there is also the option of starting your own drone business for real estate. More on that later. In order for farmers to increase their daily yields, they're using drones to survey their fields and pinpoint which location and area of crop need more attention. Your work here will be mostly straightforward. Since there is no video editing involved whatsoever, the deliverables will be given to the farmer after surveying the crops is called a normalized difference vegetation index map. Farmers will then use these maps to identify the plants they need more care and there are many softwares that make generating these maps a seamless process. You need to, however, to have some basic knowledge about agriculture and farming. Not only will it help you be better at the job and locating what part of these crops needs more attention, but also give you an edge over the other drone pilots who choose agriculture as their niche. This is a field where demand is getting higher and higher for drone pilots. The American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials did a study and has concluded that more than 35 states are now using drones in their daily inspection routines. Highway inspection, railroads, and even car accidents, drone pilots are now helping to cut down the time and money it takes for inspection to be conducted. Not only do drones capture more data and therefore help prevent more transportation disasters, but they're also cheap and easy to use. You typically don't need to know exactly what you're looking for since there's software that automatically analyzes the raw data your drone will capture. So how much can you make in these inspections? Luckily, we have a report from the AASHTO themselves who state that on average, a drone pilot gets paid $100 an hour in these inspections. Granted, most of these inspections are drone in-house, so the barrier of entry in this industry is higher than others. This is also straightforward, just like transportation, but unlike when it comes to inspecting railroads and highways, there isn't software right now that makes cell tower inspection automatic. There's data that shows how much a tower climb costs on a telecommunication company on average. It's usually between $2,000 and $6,000 for a single climb. You actually have to know what you're looking for, so this is not for everyone. The industry is the perfect fit, however, for anyone who's already in telecommunication and has a passion for drones. The hourly pay is also extremely attractive here. It could go from $100 to $200 an hour. 
Keep in mind when applying for a drone job in this field because it's good to know just how much money you'll be saving for your employer. Another inspection type job where you'll work be mostly collecting raw data with your drone and feeding it to a specialized software. You might be noticing a trend in an inspection job here, but that's because similar to transportation and telecommunications, drones are providing a faster and cheaper way for energy companies to inspect their solar energy panels and power lines. While you'll be heavily relying on software if you choose this type of work, technical knowledge in power lines, solar panels, and energy infrastructures might be required by the employer. Though, as technology progresses and software gets better, this requirement will soon become less crucial. According to Droner.io, the website that I'll link before, there are some drone pilots doing aerial energy inspections and raking up $150 an hour, but these rates are freelance rates. Most work is usually done in-house and the people who perform these inspections are highly skilled in the field. The average salary for an energy inspector can go as high as $100,000 a year. pretty much saturated for a long time, but this is actually what most drone pilots go for. It's also my personal favorite. But because of the high numbers of people applying for this job, standing out and landing the gigs is increasingly difficult. The hourly rate here can go from $100 to $400 an hour, even higher if you're a film and cinematography professional. Just to let you know that just knowledge of drone flying won't be enough, it's one thing to fly a drone, but to think like a professional aerial videographer is a whole other thing. You'll be required to have knowledge and skills in filmmaking and will likely have to provide a professional portfolio of previous work. So what's the fastest way to acquire those skills? The answer is simple. Make videos daily. Get used to filming with your drone every day, learn and improve your craft, and before you know it, you'll be really good at shooting professional videos for your clients. You also have a professional portfolio to impress clients with as well. That's right, you can actually start your own drone business or be what many in the industry call a dronepreneur. Go ahead and Google it, it's there. How much you make here would depend highly on you. It would depend on your salesmanship, your business sense, and your outreach system for finding and closing new clients. And because it depends on you and the amount of work you'll put in your business, your hourly income can range from $15 an hour to $500. I will also leave a link below for you to check out the success story of Jonathan and Beth Russell, who built a drone business from scratch to over 200 clients. So what qualification do you need to become a drone pilot? You're going to have to have to pass the FAA Aeronautical Knowledge Test, commonly known as 107 test. In order to be able to fly drones commercially, the FAA views any drone activity that you're getting compensated for as a commercial. I will also leave a link below for you to get familiarized with the FFA requirements. But like I mentioned before, most drone pilot jobs usually require specific skills on top of drone flying. So a good rule of thumb is to make sure you're proficient in your field of work you're applying for. Many thanks for taking some time to check my tutorial out. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any training certification courses you may want to pick up. Comment below done and I will reply back. You can check me out on Facebook under Marky Williams. And there I also have an online certification page where you can like and follow as well. Please make sure you check out these certification courses floating around right here. Hope to catch you on the next tutorial. It's Marky Williams and I'm out.